So Steve Borthwick has pulled the trigger early. He's named his England team. There were rumours he might go early, but it was late in the day, so I thought it wasn't going to happen. So I started recording a video about the team I would put out. So that's scrap now. At least I can compare it against this one. I purposefully haven't looked at the team, so I'm kind of going to react live because it's a bit more fun sometimes. If you played the game my starting lineup and you've entered your England team, then let's see if it's the same one as this. If you run out of time, because of course that competition shuts as soon as the team's out, you can try again next week and we'll go through that again. But anyway, let's open full screen on the RFU's email and see what he's gone for. See if it's what we thought it would be. Of course, Chesham's out and they brought Hill in, etc. So let's see. So I'm going to skip past all the, the guff, all the little intro, straight into it. Let's start in the front row. He's gone for Ellis Genge. Okay, that is interesting. We wondered if he'd go for Big Joe Marler. I was kind of hoping he'd go for Finn Smith, sorry, Finn Baxter, who's on the bench. Okay, great call. These two guys are on form. He's gone with the experience of Genge. Finn Baxter on the bench. Maybe I'd have had them the other way around, but I'm pretty happy with that at loose head. At hooker, we've got Jamie George, the captain, as expected, and Theo Dan indeed on the bench. So that's the best combo. Good one there. Uh, no need to play Cowan Dickey if those two are fit. He started Will Stewart. I would have gone for Will Stewart, not because I think he's world class, but I think he's the best we've got. It's a weak position. Who's on the bench? Yeah. He couldn't help. He had to put in one of his old guard in there. Dan Cole's in there. And Davison, to be fair, hasn't been pulling up trees. So, OK. So front row, yeah, that's fine. I'm not massively adverse to what he's picked there. Second row, yes, was always going to be a Toje and Martin with Chez and Mount. We've got Genji as a vice captain and a leader. A Toje as a vice captain as well. So plenty of experience in the front five. And let's remember George Martin has only started his England career, so we should be expecting him to get better and better. This could be a massive series for him. Ezekwe on the bench. OK, now I'm not unhappy with that at all, because as I've been saying, Ezekwe is in great form, the best form he's ever been in. I would say he's now looking like an international second row, whereas before I didn't think he was quite up to it. And it's Coles, normally the number three, but he's only just come back from injury, so I don't mind that at all. I think it's a guy who can bring lots of impact from the bench. He looks hungry again. That's good news. So, yeah, happy with the front five. I think that's as good as we could go. He's gone for Charna Cunningham South. Now, in the video I just recorded that was going to come out tomorrow, that I'm going to scrap now, I would have started Ted Hill, although he has missed a week of training. I think Hill's the better all-round player. Cunningham South was probably going to be the man to step into the shoes. I think that's where Chesham might have gone. So if Cunningham South can keep it clean and not drop the ball, basically, he could be very, very good. Um, then we've got Tom Curry. Oh, he's gone for Tom Curry. He needs a big game. I am worried he's not quite as quick as some of these other top sevens around. Is he going to be a little bit slow to the breakdown? Where's our jackal threat? Mm, that's a little bit of a worry, but he's gone with his experience of Tom Curry. Ben Earl was always going to play another vice captain. He's going to have a big game, I am sure, but six and seven could go either way. They could either step up and have a great game, or they could be a bit outclassed, actually. Who's on the bench? Ben Curry. Okay, he's in form, but again, those four back rowers, I'd only really say... Ben Earl is top tier at the moment, maybe a weak position, and I've just spotted that he's gone for a 6-2 split with Alex Dombrandt as well. Yeah, he wants the forwards not to run out of puff, I guess, you know, with New Zealand running the team around sometimes, but it's not the strongest bench I've seen, so we will see the best player who really should be there is Ted Hill. He'd been perfect for a 6-2 split. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. And some players that have been left behind as well, Tom Willis would have been perfect for a 6-2 split. But anyway, guys need to step up. We need Alex Dombrandt to have a massive game. I think he's got a big game in him. Harry Randall is on the bench. I haven't looked at the backs yet. So if Harry Randall's on the bench, he's starting Ben Spencer. Okay, Spencer is in form. He's got a great kick on him. He's very experienced. And I've always said, if he's going to play, he's a starter, if nothing. So... He starts and then some explosive Harry Randall on the bench. I would have loved to have seen Harry Randall start. That would have been stellar. So big chance for Spencer here. Can he control the game? We know he can do it for Bath. Can he step it up? So a lot on Marcus Smith's shoulders. I imagine he's going to goal kick as well. His goal kicking is very good. Slade could do that, who I can see is in. And then it's the obvious others there. Lawrence and Slade, deeming Slade, is fit enough to go. And then the back three that was always going to be the case of Freeman, Fawabusu and Furbank. In the selection I've just made in the video that's not going to come out now, I had Slight home on one wing and Freeman at 13. I would have preferred that, but Freeman is great under the high ball. 
out and out pace in that back line yeah, not the best to be honest and then a bit of a surprise on the bench George Ford straight into the side he obviously wants experience against New Zealand but Finn Smith looks in good form mm, don't know about that one could that backfire? We will see. So in summary, I think it's a decent team. It's not exactly the team I'd have gone for. I think Ted Hill will be screaming out for this game. Would have loved to see him in there. Would have liked to see Freeman maybe at 13. Is it a little safe in places? Possibly. But it could win. I'm excited. I'm going to get behind England all the way. Let me know what you think of that team that Borthwick has just picked nice and early. Comments down below. Like, subscribe. That would be great. And I'll catch you next time.